Hey guys, Steve Leslie here, and I want to talk to you a little bit about house hacking. Um, what is house hacking? House hacking is when you own a piece of property, whether it's a house, condo, whatever, and you rent out one or more rooms, but you live there. <clears throat> now, why this is really cool is because when you look at owning your own property and all the expenses that come with it, it can put a very big financial burden on you. Like it can stress you out, especially if you're a single person. So looking at house hacking, uh, it allows you to create cash flow, um, build an asset, and give you tax write-offs all using other people's money. Now I can go into detail about this, but um, those three things mainly are why you want a house hack to get into the real estate game. Um, house hacking for me has been, it's allowed me to um, not only do that, but it's allowed me to pay off other debts with it. Um, this year I paid off my OSAP and you know all the expenses that come with owning a car, which can be very detrimental, but anyways, uh, house hacking is where it's at to get you into the game because when you look at owning a piece of property, at least around this market, you're looking at about two hundred to three hundred thousand dollars for you know a regular piece of property. Um, that can be a little daunting, and I can't even imagine living in Toronto or that area. Um, or areas like that, but here, instead of looking at the two hundred to three hundred thousand dollar expense, I want you to look at it like, uh, okay, what does my down payment have to be? Um, what are the costs that are associated? There'll be lawyer fees and um, initial setups for accounts such as uh, like your gas, your hydro, um, those sort of things. So there's all those little expenses, plus your down payment, plus uh, if you want to furnish it, you're going to have to furnish some things. Um, but other than, once you focus on those expenses, you're likely looking at, uh, let's say, 15 to 20 grand, right? So when you concentrate on 15 to 20 grand, it's a lot easier to focus on that than it is to focus on say 200 to 300,000. And once you get all that set up and in place and you start renting out rooms because hey, everyone needs a roof, right? And once you start doing that, you know, you as long as you look at the numbers correctly and we can get into that a little bit later at another day. Um, once you look at the numbers correctly, you can essentially offset your entire um, expense that comes with owning a house on a month-to-month -month basis. Um, even if you were to get zero cash flow, looking at everything throughout the year, if you had zero cash flow, but it offset those, ex those expenses, um, to me, you're ahead because you're building equity, which... Once you, if if you want to just do that and then, you know, hold it, hold on through this crazy market, um, you know, it, it just allows you to build equity, build an asset using other people's money. So you essentially built a two hundred to three hundred thousand dollar asset, which is going to be worth, you know, a few years down the road, at about, you know, anywhere is between ten, twenty, maybe you're in. Uh, 30 or 40 percent you know some houses they've gone up almost 100 grand in a year so there's a lot that can be said for that if you're you know if you have this asset that you're not really paying for you just own it and eventually you're planning on getting you know getting more properties and then down the road selling a couple of them well, those are assets that have most likely gone up in value, assuming nothing like 2008 happens. 
um, those are assets that you can get get rid of at a later date for you know something that you spent say fifteen to twenty grand on, and in five years, even if you made zero money off of it, it created zero cash flow. It just it was a balanced sheet. Um, then all of a sudden you spent you know fifteen to twenty grand, and it's put say fifty to sixty grand back in your pocket in like five years. Um, you know, there's, there's that's kind of the way that you got to start thinking. It's not oh well, I I just I want my own space and I don't really like people. Well, that my friend is going to keep you poor, and it probably won't even get you into a house thinking like that. So be open-minded, really think about house hacking. There's, there's a lot of great material out there about house hacking, and I highly recommend you take a look at it, especially to just get your foot in the door with real estate. Um, I have had, I've had a couple issues with tenants, but I knew going into this that you know, I'm dealing with people. So there's going to be some issues, but I've been very fortunate to have, uh, you know, it, it hasn't really been all that bad. So I enjoy it. Highly recommend it. Check it out. House hacking is what you want to do.